It's a joy to welcome you to the cathedral as its dean, including welcoming back some people who have been friends of this cathedral and its journey on environmental issues, who've worked as collaborators for decades now to gather tonight after so many have taken action on climate change. Doing so amplifies one another's voices. Today represented probably the biggest global call to action on climate change in history. And we gather to acknowledge that there is no respite anywhere. It's no longer possible to separate the struggles for economic and social rights from this fight for a livable planet. In New York City and elsewhere, we resonate with that truth. Words are not enough, and it's time for real action and results. Tens of thousands of people now across 150 countries taking to the streets to march for action and climate change. The real solution? To build a new economy grounded in human rights and ecological stewardship. Actions, not words, from all and each of us. So, modestly, I now have invested in a solar garden in Vermont. My rock will represent that. And my pledge is to endeavor to make this cathedral greener, perhaps including, believe it or not, solar panels on the nave roof.